One thing that I would never understand is how somebody could do something in their life, tell on somebody, catch a mess up charge or anything like that, and get away with it. What I mean by getting away with it is no paperwork check. So for this video here, I'm going to be asking y'all's opinion and I'm going to be telling y'all my opinion about if there should be a mandatory paperwork check no matter where it is you go. So sit back and let's do it. Same time of the week, better be there. Have my people send a message, make sure that they're there. Time for me to collect, bring the shit over here. Cause you can tell them my face, don't make me come over there. I'll run up in your room, put my shank in your neck. Swear to God, I wet you up, better show me respect. I'm hitting licks like nut break, bread with dogs. Putting on free side, baby, this K fraud, it's a robbery. Heard what I said, I got some names I won't say. Most of them dead. For that tune, you get there's a press on your head. Take the shit out your locker, throw it all on my bed. You got a daughter back you up, on care, but you click. Two lockers to fit both y'all shit. See me in the cut, jamming, smoking a rip. Getting tatted with the money that your people are sent. See on the streets, I would have bust. But in prison, I'll come cut you. What's up, y'all? You already know, man. K Fraud TV back in the building. Y'all go ahead, man. Do me that solid favor now. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And also make sure you hit the notification bell so you can see it first. For this episode here, we're going to be talking about paperwork checks. And I'm going to ask y'all y'all's opinion. And I'm going to let y'all know mine on how I feel it should be ran when it comes down to people getting their paperwork checked. For anybody who did time in prison before or anybody who's, you know, got some type of street knowledge out here on the streets you know that people tell people commit crimes that are like the worst of the worst like against kids or you know sexually and stuff like that and they kind of like slither through you feel me they 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 make it through worser parts in their life unharmed all because paperwork's never checked you know what i'm saying me being down here from florida one thing i would tell you straight up and I get asked this a lot of times is about Florida prison checking paperwork. I'm going to tell y'all straight up, Florida prison does not check paperwork like that. That's how you're able to make it through prison unharmed. You know, make it through prison without people knowing you're a rat. Or make it through prison without people knowing that you got some type of messed up charge on your jacket. You see what I'm saying? And I feel like it's only right that I do a video because I've had some fallout with some people that I once upon a time, you know, thought was solid. But ended up finding out they're a rat or they got messed up charges, you know, stuff like that. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that paperwork was not checked down here in the state of Florida. I know some states, they check it more frequently than others. But at the same time, my opinion and the way I look at it is I feel like paperwork should be checked everywhere you go. Okay, and I'm not just talking about on the inside. You see what I'm saying? Like I said, there'll be people that make it through prison, no problems, slither their way through, can even be considered a gang member, can even push a certain type of gang and act like they're part of a nation and their own kind that's with them feels like, oh, that's my brother. He's rocking with me. You know what I'm saying? And don't think twice about checking his paperwork. I can't tell you how many times I've seen people rock out with a nation inside a prison Airlift people, get people put on helicopters, stab people up, beat people up with locks, all types of stuff, and really had a skeleton in their closet the whole time. You feel me? So when you hear about it, you're like, damn, he did what? Oh, he was a what? He had what on his paperwork? After you've seen him putting in work for that gang two, three years on this compound, it kind of like dawns on you. It's like, why didn't they check that from the get-go? You know what I'm saying? Why didn't they figure that out about him when he first landed at this institution? You know what I'm saying? I feel like Florida needs to take it more serious. Florida needs to check paperwork way more than they have been doing for decades. They need to make it to where it is a mandatory thing. And I don't think just in prison, y'all. I feel like it should be checked everywhere. And not just Florida. I'm talking about everywhere. Even on the streets. You get what I'm saying? I feel like if you go to prison... I feel like your paperwork should be checked by all the gangs that are in there, you know, even if you're not in a gang. They should check your paperwork just because, you know, if there's a rat in the dorm, you want to know. If there's someone that's police, someone with messed up charges, you want to know who's living around you. I feel like all gangs should check that person's paperwork, you know what I'm saying? And if he is a gang member, there should be an additional background paperwork check by his own organization just to see if you're some type of 
mess up case on the streets. You know what I'm saying? And then I feel like if you're someone on the streets, whether you came home from prison or you're just someone on the streets in general that's trying to become a gang member or you're hanging out with gang members, you know, I feel like your paperwork should be checked again. So that way, if you made it through prison, through the cracks, somehow the, the first couple gangs that checked your shit didn't find nothing, and then say your gang, you know, acted like they checked it and really didn't check it because they don't want to believe what they see with their own eyes, you know? So they, they'll act like they checked it when they don't feel like nothing's there because they swear you're solid, you know? But after that, when you hit the streets, I feel like it should be checked all over again. I feel like you should have to report when you get out like you normally do, but I feel like you should have to report and they do an additional paperwork check. That's what I think. I don't think it all has to be just for prison. I think even on the streets, because there's a lot of people that do shit on the streets that are wrong, you know, like telling and, and, and sex charges that get away with it by going to prison and don't get touched. And then there's a lot of people that tell in prison that do shit in prison that get back out on the streets and get away with it because now they're on the streets. You see? So I feel like it should be checked everywhere. Even if you've never been incarcerated or been locked up, I feel like they should be checking your shit on the streets frequently. There should be certain, like, stepping stones. Like, okay, you're here. You got to get here and here. But in order to get to there, you got to go through this paperwork process right here. You see? I feel like that's something that People don't take that serious. They just feel like, oh, we found out he was a snitch. Okay, he's a snitch. Now we'll do something about it. No, but I feel like they should be looking for it. You know what I'm saying? Because too many people get away with it. And then nowadays, it's like being a snitch is cool to people. You know, like people idolize that shit. Since 6 9 told, it's like a lot of people come out as snitches nowadays. And one thing that a lot of snitches have in common is when they get brought to the light, when they get brought to where they're the snitch, you know what I'm saying? And they told, and there's proof that they told, the first thing they try to do is turn around and try to say the person who's exposed them is snitching. You see what I'm saying? It's like, oh, you can't, you, you can't beat them, so I'll try to make them join me. That's, that's how they do it, basically. I've never seen a situation with someone who got brought out as being a legit snitch, a legit rat. I've never seen them man up to their own fault other than trying to just the person who exposed them they try to say oh no nah, he's a snitch too he this he's this he's that you get what i'm saying so it's like those are snitch tactics right there you feel me but i feel like a lot of this stuff that goes around whether it's with celebrities or people in prison or people you know yourself a lot of this shit could be prevented if they made paperwork checks mandatory everywhere not just in a couple states, not just a couple institutions. I feel like everywhere needs to be a mandatory paperwork check. Constantly. You know what I'm saying? Literally. That's how, like how you go to the doctors and shit and how you, when you're locked up, they bring you every few months to medical so you can get your physical. You feel me? I feel like that's what they should do. They should run that paperwork. They should run that background. You know, because if you ran their paperwork six years ago, they've been in prison six years you know, who knows what they did and snitched, how they got from this institution to that institution. Same thing on the streets. Oh, you ran his paperwork when he was in prison, but he's been on the streets six years now. Now he comes back to prison. You know, I feel like that shit needs to be more taken seriously. You get what I'm saying? And it isn't that like, at the end of the day, them people did that themselves. They told on whoever. They caught whatever sex charges or whatever they did on their own. You get what I'm saying? And it's more on like, when they go to certain places and not everybody knows, it's it's they get different attention. You know what I'm saying? They get hatred and want to be killed over here. But then when they go over here, they get loved and embraced by others because they don't know the truth. And then they try to ride that out as long as they can. I've seen this happen multiple times. People hop from institution to institution. They'll, they'll hang out at this institution and ride out being a solid individual as long as they can until somebody comes there and exposes them. And then they get brought up through there and took through whatever situations that happen. And then they go to another institution and step on that compound and act like same shit. Ride it out as long as they can. And then the same thing. It gets brought to the light and then they get transferred somewhere else. But if there was mandatory paperwork checks all the time, I feel like they wouldn't even get as far as they get. You understand? A lot of these people get farther 
because nobody had an idea. You know, or maybe they had an idea in the beginning, but they don't went through five different phases in life that no one knew it about. And then bam, now they're here, you see. And then now they find out and then they like look at everybody else along the way like they were wrong. You feel me? When really they were. A lot of people are wrong. Not as wrong as the person who told or the person with the paperwork. But at the same time, if you hang out with somebody, if you're affiliated or not, and that's your real homeboy or that's your real gang brother... You yourself, don't take the words off of another brother of yours or another person in your circle. You yourself take the initiative to look this person up. Whether that's your dog or not, and you don't want to believe that that man's a rat, or you don't want to believe he's got some type of charge you shouldn't have, you know, still keep your, you know, what you stand for, you know what I'm saying? And, and keep that shit 100 and thorough with yourself. And look that individual up, man, and do a paperwork check. Because there's people that are solid today, you know, that are telling tomorrow. And then they're solid the day after that. And you won't even notice that they told them between them two solid days. That's how it works. You feel me? That's why the more frequently I feel like if they do mandatory paperwork checks, the less people will be able to get away with this snitching shit. Because it's to the point to where all you see and all you hear about is people snitching nowadays. Literally, you see people snitching or you see people getting caught with some sexual charges. Feel me? It's all over YouTube. Different people are getting exposed left and right. Left and right. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because the sex charging, they deserve the worst treatment. You know what I'm saying? They deserve, no matter where they go, they deserve torture. They deserve the bottom of the barrel when it comes to however. You feel me? But them same ones... Them ones ain't coming out saying, oh, well, the person accusing me of this, you know, was doing it too. No, they're not actually doing that. But the snitches are. The people who are get caught telling, first thing they do is try to turn around because there's no way to get out of the fact that they told. Black and white's black and white. Videos are video. Proof's proof. So there's, there's no way for them to get out of that. So instead of them finding a burial, the way they look at it, Instead of the escape route, they look at it like, I'm just going to incriminate the person who's exposing me. So that way it'll take half of the heat off me because it's like, damn, well, oh, you snitching too, bro. You snitch. That's what people do nowadays. That's, that's a, a common snitch tactic. That's exactly what they do. It don't matter how far back you look at it. Anybody who's been exposed for snitching, first thing they do is they tend to try to blame the exact people who are accusing them of snitching to being a snitch. You feel me? So they kind of try to like drag you down with them because they can't handle that heat and that pressure from the world of them being a fucking rat themselves. So they try to bring you down with them to make it look like your word or whoever's word was that was exposing them's word isn't good, it isn't strong. Because how are you saying he's a rat but now he's saying you're a rat? You see? And then now two people are looking at like they're rats. You feel me? That's what people try to do. It's like they feel like that's the easiest way to cover up them ratting. You know what I'm saying? They get caught for ratting. 100% of the world's looking at them as a rat. Now all of a sudden they say the person who told on, on their paperwork is a rat. So now out of that 100% pressure that was on them, 50% of it's over there now. Now they both got it on them. But hey, they got someone to go through the, the rat, you know, allegations with. That's how it works. You get what I'm saying? But I feel like a lot of this shit could not happen if they made paperwork checks mandatory. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because everybody, you know, that watches this channel and, and, and a big, big percentage of people on the streets in the free world or people that are like incarcerated are against police, right? Are against officers, right? They're against people that work for the state, people that carry handcuffs, people that carry cuff keys, people that ride around in cars with lights on it, you know, they're against them, right? But believe it or not, the police, they do more background checks on criminals and on gang members and on people who got messed up charges on rats and everything than people who they hang out with do. Tell me that ain't crazy. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, a rat will be in your group or somebody with some sex charges will be in your group and you won't even know it. But the police knew it the whole time. 
but you're against the police because you live a life of crime. So you don't talk to the cops. You know, you don't associate with them. You know what I'm saying? But they know more about the same people you riding with than you do. So now you're against the law because the law is trying to take you and your partners down. Right? But that same group of officers, the law that is after you and your partners, know one of your partners is a rat. One of your other partners has this type of charge. You didn't even know that. You feel me? So you're going against them with these people when these people ain't even living right. So then when you find that out, it's literally you against the police. You see what I'm saying? Because for him to be a rat, he's worked with them before. For him to have sex charges, he's obviously had a run in with the cops before himself too. You can't stand on that or that. So now it's you against the law and your own partners that are in your circle. You feel me? That's why I say paperwork checks are so mandatory nowadays. People are idolizing this telling shit. It isn't like back in the day, people were idolized for keeping it solid, for not telling. You know what I'm saying? For keeping it real. Nowadays, it's like people brag on who they can tell on the most. People brag on like throwing the information on another person. You feel me? You ask get picked up for a murder charge. Nowadays, people will straight up Oh, I didn't kill nobody. It was such and such over here. Yeah, I'll tell you. I'll show you where they live. I'll show you what vehicle they got. Oh, I'll show you her the, the girls that he was with, her house, their everything, this and that. Telling them police shit that they ain't even ask. You know what I'm saying? Just selling whatever you can to get the heat off you. You feel me? In all reality, don't get yourself in them type of situations if you can't hold your water. You feel me? Because nowadays people look at it as cool to throw it on somebody else. You have people that will straight up get brought in for a murder or brought in for some serious charges and get interrogated and they'll straight up blame it on someone that has nothing to do with it, like an op of theirs, someone they're beefing with. Thinking that, oh yeah, well, you know, that was a chess move, you feel me? Because I just blamed someone we're going to war with for a murder they had nothing to do with. You feel me? That was a chess move. Boom, I got him about the way. But really... You just set that man up. That was a police move you just did yourself. But then they be bragging all happy that they beat the body or that they, you know, want to post on Instagram and act like, yeah, boy, I got brought in for murder. Boy, a loose lip sink ship. I ain't nobody get arrested that they knew that really did it or whatever. But they really threw it on an op of theirs. You see what I'm saying? And then since everyone knows they're ops, no one's going to believe that other individual that, oh, man, he blamed me for a murder I had nothing to do with. You see, there's so many dirty games when it comes to telling nowadays that I feel like the more paperwork is checked, the safer it is for you, the safer it is for me, the safer it is for everybody because then you know who you are around yourself. There's no surprises. You get what I'm saying? A lot of this shit that comes out, the reason people watch when they find out such and such is snitching or, or someone else has got a post proof that someone else snitched. The reason so many people are in tuned is because it was all caught off by surprise. It was all like, damn, bro, look, bro. It was all surprise. You feel me? All that could be prevented if you check paperwork straight up. It's to the point to where when I got out of prison and I seen how grimy and how many people were telling and how many solid people I seen ride throughout prison and then come out as being fake, a snitch and shit like that. It made it to where when I got out of prison, I looked my own homeboys up on the streets. I knew I wasn't fit to be running around with certain people that, you know, people that I wasn't around before. You feel me? But then after a while, you know, you feel like, ah, eh, the ones that you don't think would tell are the ones that will tell. And the ones that you don't think would have that type of charge, a sexual charge, will have that type of charge. You feel me? And then once I let up just a little bit, just decided, you know, fucking it ain't my job to do all this shit, bro. Found myself hanging out with other fucking prison content creators, you know, that ended up being full-blown, top-of-the-line rats. You know what I'm saying? And I can never forget that because that shit is... 100% legit. You feel me? What was done. So it's like, at the end of the day, that's my fault for being around that person. You get what I'm saying? And not knowing the true background of them. You see? And same thing with homeboys you have on the streets, that you'll meet on the streets. 
that you grow up with and stuff like that. You'll be out here busting licks and catching charges with this individual and you don't even know if they can hold their water. Really, they done told on other people before in burglaries or when they busted licks or whatever it may be and you're out here doing the same shit with that person. If you would have did a background check, you would have known that individuals told on someone before that did the same exact shit you're doing with them right now. Think about it. If you know someone tells, you don't want to do no shit with them that tells. You know what I'm saying? Nothing that where they could tell on you. You feel me? If he's known for telling, why would you want to do a crime with him? Think of it. The only people who really do that is people who will probably tell themselves so they don't really care that that person told or they didn't know that person told. And why don't they know that person told? Because they didn't check paperwork. That's the thing. Paperwork. Once people check paperwork, I'm telling you, and you know this shit yourself, you're going to know how to play that individual. Even if you just keep it moving. Skirt. You feel me? Like, yeah, what up, bro? Mm, I feel you. Skirt. That's it. But all that hanging out with them all the time, doing stupid shit with them all the time, putting your face card on their name, acting like y'all dogs, shouting them out, trying to get them their own, you know, limelight and stuff, all that shit, you'll end up not doing no more because you're going to peep what you get out of it. It dirties your face. You feel me? Just like in prison, hanging out with individuals who have that type of shit. That person been hanging out with you for seven, eight months. And everybody knows when they see him, they see you. When they see you, they see him. It comes out he's a rat. He's a snitch. First thing all eyes are going to do, skirt. They're going to look straight at you. Oh, I wonder how bruh feels about that. I wonder if he condones in this shit. Let's look him up now. Because that was his main dog. They was like this. You know what I'm saying? So we got to look him up to see if, you know, if he condones in that shit. Maybe he lives that type of lifestyle. And then they start looking at you like you flawed. Because like, you were so close and so tight with that individual. How didn't you know? How did you not know that individual was a rat? Or had that type of charge on its jacket? How did you not know that? If that was really your dog and as close y'all are, you must have knew. In all reality, no, you didn't. Why? Because you did not check paperwork. So that's my opinion, y'all. I feel like paperwork should be a mandatory check everywhere. Not just in prison, on the streets as well. Straight up. Think of it. You can't get jobs at certain places. You can't get a place to rent and move in at certain places. You can't make it through certain HOAs. You know what I'm saying? Homeowner associates when you try to get in there due to having a criminal background, right? They won't hire you at certain places because you got criminal background, criminal background, criminal background. Same thing with trying to rent places, right? It should be that strong and that much force on that individual's neck as a gang. A gang and a friendship, a clique should be doing the same thing. Well, you ain't part of us, boy, without this background check. You ain't finna be in this gang unless we do the severe background check. You know, that shit should be frequently checked. That's how I look at it. And then you'll be able to see, not saying a convicted felon can't get in a gang or be part of a group, but someone with sex charges should not be able to even make their way into that affiliation. You feel me? If the background check was done, legit, you know what I'm saying? And not just word of mouth saying they checked it. Because that's all it takes is one person could say they checked it and then they tell them and then it spreads to all the other brothers and then now that bam, he's clear. Yeah, man, we all did background checks on him. Now all these other dudes that are in his clique are sticking up for him and shit, talking about they did it and everything. My brother did, I'm telling him we did it. And really, you don't know. That first person that told you that just told you he did it. You see? I think that shit should be done amongst everybody. Everybody should be checked thoroughly. Like, like, like not just one time, okay, you're in, you made it. No. I think that shit should be taken to the extreme, not just in prison, like I said, but also on the streets, anywhere. That's that's how serious that shit should be taken. That's my opinion. I don't know what y'all's opinion is, but that's what the comment section's for. If you feel like it should frequently be checked, you know, or if you feel like it should be checked all the time or not all the time, Drop it in the comment section because I'm pretty sure people want to know what your input is and what's your opinion on that. If you think it shouldn't be checked that much, why? If you think it should be checked, explain why also. You see what I'm saying? The comments go a long way on this channel. 
You feel me? And like I said, I feel like that shit should be checked. Even if it ain't gang related, it ain't got to be prison related. It should just be checked frequently. I feel like people need to take that paperwork check more serious. That shit needs to be mandatory. Like straight up. That's how I look at it. Because at the end of the day, we be against cops. We be against the HOAs. We be against the jobs that won't give us a job and stuff like that, right? But why? You're against the cops because the cops arrest you. Right? You're against the cops because they put you in jail. You know what I'm saying? You're against the HOAs and the and the places of employment because they won't hire you and they won't let you move in somewhere due to a criminal background. Right? But at least they are checking. They're doing one step more than criminals and convicts are doing. You see what I'm saying? Straight up. If you think about it, they're we don't like them because they don't let us get in because we're a criminal, we're a convicts. But they're doing the initiative of looking us up, though. You see what I'm saying? I think a lot of people need to just fall back and look up their own friends, their own people in their circle. Look them up. You get what I'm saying? And just, just you'll be surprised. I had a homeboy of mine from Jacksonville. I had a homeboy of mine that I did time in prison with. He got out on the streets. I was still fucking with him on the streets from long distance, talking to him on FaceTime and shit. He went back to prison. Got out again. I'm like, what's up with you? This and that, this and that. I decided to look him up one time because I ain't heard from him in a while. I looked him up and it showed he was in prison again. This would have been the third time he was in prison, right? Third time. And as I was looking him up to see his release date, because I'm like, oh, yeah, he's back up the road. The last two times he went to prison, you know, I, I seen that what he's in there for now, you know, some, some savage shit. But then as I was scrolling down, I seen prior, you know, times that he was in there, prior prior times he was in prison and it showed the very first one it showed like a lewdness civil like a sex charge thing you feel me so in my mind i'm like damn so when i was in prison with him the first time and we were vibing he was fighting people he was putting on and everybody everybody knew him he was cool but he had a sex charge on his thing had something with 12 year old and under or something you see what i'm saying and i seen that as one of his as his previous conviction time so I'm like, damn, I never knew that. You see, he made it through his whole bid, got out, went back, got out, went back, and I just happened to see his prior offenses. You see, people make it through prison because there's no paperwork checks. There's no, there's people that are not taking that shit that serious. I don't know if it's because in Florida, people are stabbing and dying left and right. So it's kind of hard to, you know, Focus on everybody and pay attention to everybody because you, you you slip too long and your ass going to get got. You know what I'm saying? You got so much going on around you that you got to be on your, you know, your tippy toes and you got to pay attention as much as possible. So it kind of makes sense that you ain't got the time or energy to, you know, check everybody. But that's why I feel like it should be left up to the, if it's not the gang they're in or the circle of homeboys they're in, maybe the race, the color of their skin should do it. You know, maybe the people who are from their area code, their county, or however it is. But I feel like paperwork checks should be mandatory. And I stand on that. That's exactly how I stand on it. And then that's what it is, y'all. Y'all drop it in the comment section. Let us know what y'all think. Thumbs up, thumbs down. You feel me? Should that should be checked mandatory all the time, everywhere. Not just in prison, on the streets as well. Or do you feel like only... Here and there, paperwork should be checked. It's up to y'all, man. Put it in the comment section. But anyways, y'all, I'm going to wrap this video on up. I appreciate y'all tuning in, man. And like I always say, make sure you keep them rats, squares, clowns, chomos, pedos, gunners, wannabe island boys, clout chasers, lying ass motherfuckers who be all on interrogation videos and shit trying to sell every single thing they can to prevent from going up the road when they shouldn't have stepped out there in that water in the first place because they ain't know how to swim without floaties on. Keep them out your circle, man. Till next time, this the one and only. I am my 10, like I always say. Frog.